What is up guys? Welcome back to my channel. It's been a couple weeks since uh, we made a video on the Corvette. Uh, reason being, we were actually getting this thing detailed, so it was away for a couple weeks, uh, but it's looking pretty shiny now. In today's video, I actually wanted to finally paint the brake calipers. I found this brake system on Amazon. Uh, basically, this is a brush on brake kit. So basically you have, let's unbox this. So basically for what 50 bucks gets you is this brake caliper paint system and, and this is the reactor. In the kit also comes this uh, brake cleaner, which you know saves you some money there. And somewhere in here is actually a brush. Now the color we're going with today is blue. The reason being, I wanted this car to have a couple, at least one more color to accent it. So what we did here was we made this Corvette text blue. We made this logo blue, uh, blue license plate cover, and then little details like this logo is blue on all the wheels, and the main logo is also blue. Um, so I thought to add to that, it would look great if we had blue uh, brake calipers. So anyway, I think, like I said, this thing, this is the easiest way to do it. You don't need to get messy with it and start spraying. Really, all you have is just a brush, and you carefully brush around uh, where you need it. So um, yeah, let's get started. All right, first step is to jack the car up and take off the wheels. got the car up in the air here are our brakes so the first step is to spray down some brake cleaner let it kind of sit there and drip down and then actually wipe it down Okay, so this is cleaned up. Um, I'm gonna be doing everything in the mirror. Uh, so I'm gonna do this side and then that side. Um, each side is gonna need about three coats of paint and 10 minutes in between each coat's dry. So my idea is to do this side while this is drying, do the other side, this side, that side, and so on and so forth. So we sprayed this down a couple times. Uh, now we're gonna clean it really good with the cloth and um, get to painting. Here's our paint. And uh, this is the reactor that actually makes the paint dry and uh, stick on really well. Uh, so let's open this up. There we go. All right, so we're gonna pour that in there. Now once you pour it in here, you have about four to six hours of this paint actually uh, not being dry yet. Um, so you want to work, I mean, you don't have to go super fast. I think that's, you know, four to six hours is enough. But I think you do have to do it in one shot. All right, let's get painting. So this is just the first um, coat that we did. And first impression is, First of all, applying this stuff is very nice. Um, it just feels like you're just painting, you know, on a canvas or something. It's very relaxing, you know, there's no overspray going anywhere and you could really get into all the fine details um, in the front and back and actually be careful with the paint, um, which is already so much nicer than actually spray painting it. Um, I was going to try to go around these Corvette lettering, but that is too hard with this brush. Um, it's not very accurate. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cover it all the way and then I'm gonna sand it down later. Uh, but first impression, it's awesome. It's a very, already covered pretty well. I think we might be fine with just two coats, um, but we'll see how that goes. I'm gonna go do the other side and then we're gonna come back here and do the second coat and uh, see how that looks. The first coat on the other side, off camera. Uh, didn't want to bore you guys with the same exact uh, routine. Uh, but now we're gonna do our second coat on this side. I went ahead and actually did a third coat off camera on both sides and it's already looking really good. Uh, now there is some bumpiness to the paint, but it smoothens out over time and the manufacturer says it actually needs a full 24 hours to fully cure and they don't recommend driving your car for 20 hours. Uh, luckily I don't really need to drive anywhere for the next 24 hours. Um, but if you do, you might want to um, time this um, in a way that 
you won't need the car for 24 hours before doing. So yeah, the front is done. I'm loving how it looks. Um, it's a very nice and bright color. Let's go on and uh, do the rears. Alrighty, so pretty much the same deal on the rear brakes. They're a lot smaller, probably gonna be easier, faster to do. Same thing, mask off, brake clean, wipe off, and then start painting. can't really see much in here so let me uh, pull the car out a little bit and I'll show you guys in more detail. And that's it. Um, I think it turned out really great. It's still not fully cured so it's a little bit wavy in some spots but as it cures it actually becomes smoother and flatter and I think it already looks really good. Probably is not not as noticeable on camera but in person I really love it and this is definitely the easiest brake caliper paint job I ever had. It's really mess free you know I've didn't get any paint on myself, no overspray. You can really get into all the fine details of everything. And it's really quick, probably took an hour and 15 minutes maybe. And uh, just make sure you do it all in one shot so your paint doesn't dry. And there was still a bunch of paint left over. I could probably do another car if I wanted to. But yeah, that's it. Um, I'm gonna leave a link in the description. They do have a whole bunch of different colors, probably like 20 for you guys to choose from. So if you wanna do this on your car, feel free to check it out. But that's about it. Thank you for watching, peace.